Uh, what? This, this, this? Yeah. What too bad? Well, I'm not skinny girl. Whatever. Action! Hi guys, I'm Song Kyung Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today I'm going to show you how to make Korean hot fire fried chicken sandwich. Bulldog sandwich. Yes, I said it. Oh my goodness, it's gonna burn your tongue. Are you ready? Are you ready for the fire chicken? So let's get started. We are going to make the sauce first. So in a saucepan, add three tablespoons of soy sauce, four tablespoons of sugar, three tablespoons of chicken powder or chicken bouillon, four tablespoons of extra spicy gochugaru or capsaicin if you go all the way like the nuclear bomb spicy then go ahead and use a four tablespoon of cayenne pepper but not cayenne capsaicin powder but i don't recommend that like you're gonna be sorry for yourself later one tablespoon of garlic powder one tablespoon of onion powder one third cup of chili oil and three quarter cup of water Turn the heat to medium-low, mix everything together. We are going to bring them to simmer and let it keep simmer about two to three minutes so the flavor will combine all together. Remove from the heat and set aside. The sauce is ready to rock and roll. You can taste it right now. You probably mostly taste the delicious savory flavor and the sweetness because the chili powder haven't absorbed and released their devil side into the sauce yet. Like about an hour later, it's gonna like Pah! I'm so excited about this recipe. <laughs> so anyways, we are going to make the marinade for the chicken. So in a larger mixing bowl, go ahead and add two cups of buttermilk and add a quarter cup of the bulldog sauce that we just made. Whisk everything together until well combined. And yes, you will smell the spicy coming through. Yes, that's why I, why I love this recipe so much. And we are going to marinate four pieces of boneless, skinless chicken thigh. You can use a chicken breast as well if you prefer that. But I think a chicken thigh is so much more juicier and tender. Marinate the chicken about 15 to 20 minutes. Or if you have a time, go ahead and marinate overnight. Now bring another larger mixing bowl and combine one cup of Korean fried chicken flour. If you wanna make this from scratch, that recipe right there, I also showed you how to make from scratch, so check that video out. Into the Korean fried chicken flour, go ahead and add one cup of all-purpose flour, whisk them together and set aside. Preheat your frying oil to 360 degrees, all right, it's time to dress the chicken for the deep frying. So take one chicken thigh at a time, shake the excess marinade up, and then place it into the flour mixture. Coat the chicken completely with the flour mixture. Shake the excess up, and then we're gonna repeat. Yes, we are going to double coat this chicken. So dip into the buttermilk marinade again, and then coat with the flour and then put the chicken on the baking rack and repeat with the rest of the chicken. Now, before we drop this chicken into the oil, we're gonna, we're gonna actually let them, kind of let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes. So the way the buttermilk and chicken will naturally create this amazing crust with the flour mixture. So they need to kind of sit a little bit to create that, to get to know each other. Now carefully drop the chicken into the preheated frying oil. My pot right now is quite large. I can put all these four pieces of chicken thigh. But if you are using smaller pot than this, I highly recommend to do the batches because you don't want to drop this frying oil temperature way low. Then chicken will start to boil and when chicken start to boil in the oil, all the beautiful crust that we created will all come off from chicken and we don't want that disaster. So make sure you keep maintain the oil temperature 360. When the chicken is done cooking and beautifully golden brown and you can already see how crispy the outside of the chicken is. Oh my God, I cannot, oh, I can't even. 
All right, remove the chicken from the frying oil and place on a cooling rack that lined with baking pan. And lastly, we are going to make quick slaw to put on the sandwich. So for the slaw, you will need two tablespoons of mayonnaise, two tablespoons of vinegar. You can use any vinegar, whatever you have. Two tablespoons of sugar and pinch of salt. Mix well until sugar is dissolved. Then go ahead and add 12 ounces of shredded cabbage and Korean radish. So you could have done this only with cabbage or cabbage with carrots or whatever your favorite uh, the slow vegetable mixture. But I really wanted to mimic the flavor and the refresh part from chicken moo, the Korean pickled radish, we always serve with our fried chicken. That's why I decided to add the Korean radish. Lastly, add one to two chopped green onions and mix everything together. And yes, you could make this slaw ahead, but I like to toss the slaw into the sauce right before I put it onto the chicken so the slaw is really super crunchy and fresh. Now is the moment that we all waited for. Place the fried chicken into the fire sauce and coat it all evenly with this fire sauce. I don't know why my hands go like this when I'm talking about I'm like a little witch. <laughs> Put it on! <laughs> if you actually want to serve this Korean hot fired fried chicken, like a Nashville hot chicken, you can actually serve on the top of your favorite toast and just sprinkle with some sesame seeds and serve with the slaw and you're done. You can just serve it like this, but I personally think this sandwich is so much better. So what you need to do is place about an ounce of mozzarella cheese right on top of this hot fire fried chicken. Pop it into the broiler or oven toaster for one to two minutes or until the cheese is completely melted. Quickly toast our buns to make the sandwich. So I love using brioche sandwich or Hawaiian buns for this recipe. The little extra buttery sweetness just combines amazing with this fire chicken. And place cheese Korean hot fire chicken on top of the bun and top it with the slaw. And you know, sprinkle a little sesame seeds because Asian at home cannot be, you know, completely without sesame seeds right on top. And the sandwich is ready to rock and roll. It's so delicious. You can even, if you decide to open a restaurant or selling this menu in your restaurant, please let me know because I want to actually come by and taste it and quality, quality checking, quality checking, because it's got to be this delicious. Okay, so don't be shy. Let me know. I'm not gonna ask for the royalty. Okay, it's okay. Don't mm. 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 Oh, where's my bun? <laughs> it's so Ooh, hot. Mm. You ready? I don't know. Ooh. My mouth is watering. I don't know if it's out of nervous and fear or. Okay. It smells so good though. Mmm. 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 I'm trying to oh, avoid delicious. the chicken touching my tongue. So How are you going to eat the food without touching your tongue? Mm. Here comes the heat. Woo! There it is. Woo! The bread and the cheese and the slaw. Help it out. You're eating it by itself. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, oh. Mm. So good. Maybe some tamuji to cool it off. Mm. Oh mm. no. <laughs> it's good though. You can't tell by my face. I'm like this. It's good though. <laughs> it is so delicious. Mm. My tongue is on fire. If you like hot chicken, you're gonna love, 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 love this. Flavor is amazing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like a challenge for him. You alright? Be careful when your middle finger is like standing yeah. out like this. <laughs> if you like my Korean hot fire fried chicken sandwich, please give this video thumbs up. Mm. I'm a little slow right now because my tongue is like this. 
And subscribe my channel for more inspirations and ideas of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching us today. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Song Kyung Long Guest. I'm Jacob Long Guest. I'm Kim. And this is Asian at home. And we'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. Mwah. Mwah.